Hey you guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 18, yes, not 19, like I said in the last episode, of Tampere City here on the map of Tampere, you know, the map is called Tampere, so I named the city also Tampere City, seemed like logic. Uh, yeah, so this city is starting to grow quite nicely and uh, as you can see it's also a colorful city because I'm using a, a mod to uh, change colors. Uh, of course the fires are not included but they will be dealt with hopefully. And uh, yeah, in the last episode we expanded the whole city here with this uh, suburban uh, area with all these uh, little bit of a kind of cul-de-sacs kind of thingies and you know actually it works out pretty nicely. I mean uh, nobody is complaining. Let me check it out. I'm pressing the escape button and there is no blinking icon inside. Yeah, maybe there. I see this often, you know, no car access which is, is odd. but. Usually I just delete the building and it will rebuild. Uh, also, I placed uh, back then, let's see, this thing over here. There's a hospital to get like the demand for all these um, uh, ambulances over here as well. So that hospital is nicely uh, centered around here. Pretty well nice. Um, and I also... Uh, I was saying about you know the schooling situation because I put all the schooling on this area over here you know, We have like uh, three Elementary schools. Now let me see how much ooh, They ooh, they are filled up pretty nice so we can upgrade those Like that now we can upgrade this one Here we go and add this And that and that's to the maximum cap Capacity, yes. Uh, is this a high, what is this? This is a medical clinic, okay. And here we have two high schools over here, I think. Yeah, we can also upgrade those. Ooh, this one is also totally filled up. Overlapping items. Uh, control A. But that does not work, so I need to apply that through the road. Hey, uh, Alec, is turn on. Oy. Okay, now it's working. Here we go. Wait a second. This thing has also this option. Rooftop sports park. Perfect. That's just what we need. Okay, so in that last episode I also mentioned uh, that we could use this space for the college or the university. And I've been looking at this place. And the problem is that if we check out uh, this option we see like, okay, college and university. Now, the college. It's just one building. We only have one building for the college, which is this. And that would fit here nicely. But the university, either this one, or maybe it's the technical one, or the medical one, they won't fit. Because if I select this one, look, it is... Uh, if I turn off the anarchy, then it will say like, I, I'm overlapping like 50 million items. Won't work. But I've been thinking, you know, uh, you know, as you might know, you know, as being a Dutch, I like, you know, always to polder in some pieces of land and whatnot. And, you know, maybe putting those universities somewhere here in the water area. But we have a little issue over here because we have, of course, sea lanes running here. Now, let me check those out. Yeah, we have a sea lane running here. So that is a problem. Okay, so that is like a non-vital option. So let me have a look at this. What do we have here? It's like just a regular island with nothing? No. Yeah, so okay. This area is also available for, for that. But anyway, let's first start here in this area. I mean, <laughs> look at this area. I mean, it looks like we have a road coming there, there, there. Everything goes underground and, and everywhere there's like kind of a tree. This looks a little bit hideous. So... Let me fix a few little thingies, you know, while we're at it. So let's bring this up. Like, like that. Yep. And then here we do the same thing. Like that. And then move that tree away a little bit. So, yeah, this still can go. Yeah, it can still go up. I wonder what this pillar is doing here. I have no idea. All these random uh, trees and whatnot appearing when you have anarchy on, it's 
can be quite annoying at times. We'll bring this up slightly. Ooh, ooh, no. Yeah, that's better. Here we go. And we have a little bit of cul-de-sac over here, and this road runs over here. Okay, pretty nice. So, um, the question is now, okay, if we want to have like the college over here, which is all fine and nice and well and great and super and duper and whatever, how do we get a road from there? And I'm looking at this roundabout, and I'm thinking we might be able to squeeze a road in between here. Oh, I feel already like so... <laughs> devious about this okay let's try it let's pick this road and let's try to get it underneath here so yes of course it's shouting anarchy it, it does not it does not want it says no i don't want it uh no if buts and when you are going just like that you see everything fits as long as you use anarchy you know yeah and then we make a sharp turn here like that and everything works like perfectly so we are going in between these two uh, these two rail tracks you gotta love it hey and we're gonna have some space for that uh, college now let me have a look here how do we want to have that college um, facing in which direction now if we face uh, if we look at the city you know the city looks yeah kind of nice from the water edge from this side also it kind of depends you know it, it, it really does not matter if you ask me so what I'm going to do here just taking this road bringing it actually down like that okay hooking it up to there now let's see what we can do with the college. The college is like uh, this building and it simply fits. Hey, hallelujah. So do we put it here? Sure, why not? We can always lead like a, a lead like a metro to it and yeah, that would also help. Okay, now let me grab this road again because I think we might be able to I say might be able to maybe, uh, yeah, hook it up to here, which might can cause some troubles. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, we are sticking to a path because a path, you know, then people would walk more. I think that's better. So we will just take it from here. Uh, let's see, because you know, all the underlying stuff is uh, sometimes a little bit tricky so this is a path that runs from here and then from here we take a bend to let's say there and then from there to there and from there to there yeah that will do and let's say people are living over here and we can also make a little bit of a path from there to there yeah so the only thing they don't have here is a crossing okay uh, I never like crossings but what I'm going to do here is just make a simple just go around like that and I know people will walk will walk they will walk they will walk around I mean they're not too lazy about that let's have a look at this college now let's have a look I mean let's see it has now there are 63 students there okay let's have a look at the schooling situation uh, education yeah so college okay so that is actually doing pretty nice I don't think this building requires an update right as of now what they do might need is a little bit of parking although there is parking available here but what I also like to do is having these um, um, buildings across this uh, uh, path you know this uh, road here I see that this road is sunken so what we're going to do first of all let me remove those trees from the water I you know I hate that you know it's, it looks ridiculous 
and also something from, from, from City Skylines 1. When the tree is in the water, it usually dies off. That, that, that should be just a thing, you know, dying off, become like, you know, it's something that should happen. But okay, it does not, so let's stop complaining. We are using the Move It mod, and we're selecting all these nodes, like that. Uh, we select the toolbox, we select two object height, just, uh, let's say, there. Whoa! Can we control Z that? Ooh! It selected also the, ooh, <laughs> the, all the other buildings underneath it. Oh, hallelujah! <laughs> let's not do that again. Okay, let me select these nodes individually, because this was like nearly a disaster. So you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And to object height to you. Yeah, only you guys. Yeah. Let me see if the terrain is still okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. We need to do a little bit of a. Uh... Oh, that college is on a hill. Well, ah, that's a good thing, you know. It's uh, flood, flood prevented. But let me do a little bit of terrain here. Near this uh, road. And now we are coming close to that uh, this cul-de-sac over here. Okay, so okay, 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 okay. And eventually, yeah, we have to smoothen it down like that. Something like that. And here, also, yeah. A little bit of a hilly uh, terrain here and there, it's, it's okay. I mean, uh, not everything has to be perfectly flat. I mean, that's like unrealistic. You have bumps and humps in nature uh, as well. So let's put uh, some, let's say, European style, okay, buildings on the side here. So these. <laughs> Actually, we can fill up this whole area with, you know, waterfront housing. That's fine. Yeah, they can build. You know, that's nice. Okay. Uh, between those areas, we are going to put a few parkings. Uh, not parkings, I mean uh, bleh, pedestrian paths. So from here to there. And let's be careful not to touch the zoning. Otherwise, we will lose the building. Ooh, come on. Yeah, that works. And then we can go even behind here, which is nice. Create all kinds of options to walk around. Like that. Behind that. And yeah, that works, that works, that works. It works. And then from here to that round debout which does take that zoning away which is a pity by the way but yeah nothing to do about it so okay we are going to take this and then bring it up to there and then from there and here yeah it will not fit but this uh, this house will sacrifice a little bit sorry sorry about your house and then here we make a path in between so they can walk to these areas where we have like those offices. An easy way to uh, to get to the job locally. Yeah, I mean that kind of works, right? Let's, let's have a look. Let me delete this thing. Yeah, they will rebuild. Perfect. Perfect. So we have like this thing over here. It looks a little bit barren as the way as it is, but I think in the future we can add a little bit more, you know, things to it. So uh, what do we have actually? College library and extension wing. We don't need those. But um, in regarding to parks that are related to, let's say, schools, let's say a tennis court or a small tennis court, an outdoor gym. And skate park. Skate park near college? Hmm. Yeah, that would not be bad. Let me, let me just put it there for a while. Let's make a, a side road for that. If that wants. 
let's see. Okay, we take this building. Come on. Come on, building. You will you want to go Ooh, does that fit? No, it does not fit. <laughs> okay. Time for the move with Martin. We are going to grab this thing, going to rotate it, and then like that. Don't worry, we'll all be fine. Like so. A little bit to the side, like that. Then we take this thing, pick a pick a mod, and then we take this road. You know what? No, we are taking the other road. We're taking actually the small road, this one. You know, just the alley road yeah and then we can delete this part we take this road actually and we're going to change this road to the alley road yeah much better i like that a lot more and then let's see do we have anything else citizens work on their physique in, uh, a place to shoot basketball court oh that's not too big and yeah, we can add it to it mm, here or let me turn off the anarchy so not here but here yeah that's fine it's still a little bit hilly, hilly billy terrain uh, around here. Uh, what if I just grab the move it mod and I select these items. And I say right to object height there. Poof. So okay it's a little bit uh, yeah like that. But you know what we are going to do here is we are going to just put trees around it. So I'm selecting the tree brush. <laughs> Let's have, a, let's have a look here. How does that look? Let's press H and just, you know, let's watch it from close by. Ah, nice. Imagine, uh, on the college and then with those lovely wind turbines, doing your homework at your college. Look at the details of this building, you know. It's like, what I recently also discovered is like, when you are going through your city and you take a drive with one of those cars through your city then you realize how big actually everything is we are constantly watching this from you know a, a, a very high level a high area but actually this is huge you know if you start to drive from here and you go all the way here and you would let's say even end up here and exit the, the city here that takes quite some time yeah Right, now talking about those universities, um, first of all let me have a look at those shipping routes, okay, so my goodness me, and then the size of the university, this one, which is not that big actually, I mean it looked bigger, Imagine a university island. Oh, well, I'm um, I'm now I'm very intrigued actually. Okay, let's grab uh, our uh, lovely brush. This thing. Mm, let's put this to 100%. And then here, let's take exceed city limit. Okay, so we need to buy this tile eventually. Okay, that's no problem. Let's also take the height of actually this area uh, yeah tick 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 78 meters holy moly look at that I mean that's way too high no 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 lower yeah let's see what we can get up here you know we are going to create a university island now if I'm not mistaken yeah the um, the game is smart enough to recognize that there is a ship path and uh, automatically make sure that you don't overlap it with ground. That's you know that's actually a good feature that they added into this game. And here we go. We have like our lovely island with an extra island for just I don't know for the funsies of it. You know just just make things look a little bit natural. Like this is a river with some. A little bit of islands here and there, and then we can also slopey slopey all this stuff off a little bit, and also this a little bit, just you know, just touching it like so, as if they are part of the of the river. You gotta love it, you know. So 
here. So let us do the same thing here. We are going to slopeify this area like that. <laughs> I hope that the uh, university will fit on here. Yeah, let's just check that out first before uh, the university. Let's see. The entrance, by the way, of the university is on the other side, like that. So, can we get out of this view? It does fit. It fits. No, the university entry is on the other side, but the ro the building is facing to the north. Um, okay, I'm thinking because we cannot exceed to this area further that we need a little bit more of land on the back side. Oh, that's a long button. So we're going to just add a little bit of twink, 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 twink. <laughs> a little bit of you know excessive land here. Whoop like that oh man I love always to play with water you know it's like you know, make little islands here and there like that and then just monkey around a little bit with the softening tool and you can also later put on some some trees on it and whatnot just to make the stuff look more natural it's like yeah I really like that you know, I really like that it's just nearly that's nearly a coral reef that thing okay stop monkeying around let's place that university um yeah here so university imagine you go to university and, that, and that those ships are coming by every time so push there we have our university guys and girls look at that and it needs a road connection from here Actually, I placed it <laughs> without buying the tile. <laughs> I put anarchy mode. Sorry. I will buy the tile. I'm not going to cheat my way. Cheat my way. Purchase that. Um, yeah, I also need to purchase that one. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, it now needs a road connection. Now, that is going to be interesting. A road connection how are people actually getting there <laughs> well, this area is not being used by shipping uh, let's see let's check it out ships no it is not so what we can do here is just make all this area here you know sort of like a little bit of you know all of kind of you know swampy wompy you know with all kind of water going through it not really not really a buildable area but with some water going through it okay so we are now decreasing this one and as you can see what I'm doing now this area will allow water to kind of flow through it but we can build a road over this as well so I'm taking this sort of down water can still go through it Although everything is very undeep, shallow. What what is the proper English word for this, guys? Shallow or undeep? Uh, is undeep actually an English word or not? Uh, help me out, please. Here we go. Uh, it looks more natural. Ah, it looks just more natural. The only thing that kind of annoys me is the fact that if I look at this road, which is straight like that, and then I'm looking at this thing, which is completely. <laughs> not straight <clears throat> can I do something about that uh, maybe when I pick this road yeah I get out of here um, I can't just oh man that will be a disaster but <laughs> not really a disaster but for just only for the looks of it so let's say this is now this is 90 degrees bash this is 90 degrees bash delete this list this not delete the waterway please that's bad for business delete this 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 and yeah you are all fixed and now we have a piece of road here that is actually straight hey, look at that nice <coughs> 
Okay, we need like a normal uh, road, which would be then this one. And that can just be uh, an extension. Holy moly. Okay, we need to go up a little bit like that. And then bring it to there. That's 90 degrees. Look at that, how crooked this thing is. But lo lovely enough, we can just uh, move it and just replace it and say like... Ta-da! Fixed. Okay. And now that building is straight in relation to this main road over here. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, let's do some... Oh, wait a second. Did I turn it around? Oh, that is not. Uh, that was not the idea. Okay. Let me put this road there. And then this road there. Can I flip this around? Oh, wait a second. What is the... What is the main entrance to this building, actually? No, this is facing the right way. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Now, okay, let's see how we're going to sort of meander this over the... Uh, area and turn the snapping now off and we are taking it up into the air not by 10 meters that's way too much six and a half so that is all concrete and if we put it over here like so and then from here I want to make a bridge to there Basically, we can just make it go towards that road. Like that. Perfectly straight in. Bash. How does that look? Uh, we have like a piece of concrete area over here. So let me fix that by applying this option. I mean, it's a bridge, right? And here... Uh, yeah, it looks a little bit awkward somehow. How can we figure... How can we fix this? Uh, can we add like a key? Yeah, that it would then apply to the whole area. Hmm, okay. There is a way of working around this with the notes. I want to make this work from, let's say, here. Bash. And from here. Bash. And then we are selecting uh, the road again, the road, and then this option, concrete, this part, this part. And let's also not forget the other part and that part, and then remove those sections, like here and there. And voila, you have like a concrete structure over there and there. And here it's sticking in the water, which is perfectly fine. Oh, lovely sunset. Nice. So, this building, what does it require? Does it require anything right now? No, I think it's being... Yeah, it, got, it gets some uh, power and water directly through this bridge because it's not complaining about anything. So, I would say like, let's see if we can update it also. If it needs updates. Uh, university library. Yeah, we can... Wait a sec, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's an extra building. Um, yeah, we can afford, we can put that there. It is an anarchy mode, so it's sticking out the tile a little bit, but I will go with it. And then this is an extension, so that's fine. And this is a university park, which is quite large. Uh, I don't think we can squeeze that anywhere unless we are going to get more land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would be probably then on this side. Yeah. Okay, let me do that then. Let me grab this thing. Here we go. A little bit of land. Yep. 
like that. Here we go. And we go back to this thing. Oh, no. We click this building. And then we put this right over there. Nice. Now, I even wonder if you take this building, uh, this road, and you put it over here. No, no, no. Not that road. The uh, alley road. I love the alley road, like that. We put it around there. Like that, to there. You know, this is a perfect place for beachfront properties. Yeah. So, uh, let's get out of this view. Let's say there. 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 Different sizes. There. And there. I think that's not bad. Uh, let's see, we can add one there. 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 Uh, yeah, they will alter the landscape by themselves. But as far as I know, um, the university is not like a building that will give off uh, a lot of issues. Even put one of these. I mean, university is like, you know, very office related. So having a few officers around is definitely not a bad idea. You know, the having a big... Uh, tower let's say here bash behind the university actually gives it a sort of you know a hallmark kind of thing yeah okay now we are going to add a parking road we love those parking roads where are those uh, we can take the big one this is a small one we can take the big one let's get out of this view by the way uh, let's see, we can do it from here to Bash over there. Now look at this parking lot. It's like great, isn't it? So on those parking lots, we can also do an office. We can do a shop. Yep. And here on the front, we can also still do, yeah, those houses. Oh man, I love this. So you... You, 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 uh, that's too big, let's keep it uh, sizable, two and two, I think that's enough over here, and what can we put here on this edge, let me have a look, do we have any kind of building, no, we do, yeah, only industrial. We don't want a fuel plant over here, right? No, we don't. <laughs> um, anything else? Do we have anything else? A little bit of small park or something. Campfire site. Uh, 4x12 park, which is just a little bit too big. Park maintenance. Nope. And this is like small like crazy, but we can put it over there. Do we have anything else that fits here? This would fit here, but it's also very small. Uh, this will do nicely. Yeah. Let's see. Let's turn off that anarchy. And put that right over there. Just a little bit of, you know, fancy thing, you know, to have. Now look at that. I love it. And beside that, we can actually, because we have like small offices and we have skyscrapers but we also have like the medium density office and by the way these you can download from the pdx mods so you get like not the huge uh, office buildings but a little bit more how shall i say it the the the, the, the you know the reasonable ones that are not like uh, insanely big Ooh. yeah i like this building I, like, I really like this, yeah. So, what I want to do here is I'm just playing around a little bit with the land. Just extend it slightly so we can create really beachfront property. Because, you know, these houses are beachfront properties and not called cliff front properties. <laughs> yeah, so we, in other words, we do really want to have like a beach uh, in front of them and not like a cliff. So, the way to do it is just simply by 
adding a little bit more land and then smoothify it from the ocean like that. Here we go, like that. Careful. Always be careful with this thing because it still is sometimes, uh, yeah, can be a tricky tool sometimes. You know, and even this height is still pretty high, if you ask me. Because look at that, I mean, I will only go that far to the buildings. Man, look at that, it's like, whoa, that sometimes the light falls like very weird. Do we have the option to turn this surface into sand? Uh, I have not done that for a while. Uh, where is that option again? Uh, surfaces, yes. Uh, this is like, no, that is like a uh, sand surface. Ooh, yeah, white sand. Oh yeah, in combination with some of this stuff. Okay, can we do that? So we take it from here. Oh yeah, we put it there and then partially underwater. Like bash. Ooh, somehow I did not use. Somehow did this went a little bit wrong here. Can I change this? Yeah, towards there. Yeah, that works. Nice. We can even extend it. Uh, okay, so here. Take it to there. And from there we can move it further to there because these are also those ty type of houses. Okay. Can I answer the note there, please? Thank you. What's that noise? I oh, those ships. <laughs> Yeah, imagine you have like this beachfront property and then every time a ship comes by, it's like, Whoa, what did I bought this time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we bring this all the way to there and then at least it has a little bit of a... Can this, what happens if this covers it? Ooh, it changes. Ah. Well, that's not a disaster because actually... Actually, 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 guys and girls, uh, actually, what what moi is seeing, I moi is loving. Uh, come on, you go there. Right then, uh, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, let's see if they even rebuilt. Uh, let's speed up the game a little bit and see if these buildings are being rebuilt. I mean, I hope so. They are building. So let's hope that the uh, uh, surface uh, area will not play any part on this. Sometimes if you take a distance, look at this, it's so bright, you know? It's like, it kind of depends on which angle you're looking at it, but kind of looks nice so here because um where are those buildings uh what are, what are those, these buildings offices also these buildings are offices what we can do here we can insert a tree line so let's say we grab a tree now actually because this is as uh, you know a beach kind of thing i i think i'm going for a form of a palm tree yeah not that one yeah, that one. So we put that into a line. Uh, decrease the size 12 meters apart. That's not bad. And then just follow this line. Yeah. Mm, can we do that again? And then from here. That's not bad, and then also insert one over there. Ooh, that's like, come on, you go, you go there. 
yes. We can also add a little bit of stones on this beach, like that, and that, and that, and that, and another stone, another stone, stone, stone. Here and there some, some rocks, I mean, that's fine. And so we took this stuff, but imagine if you have like white sand base. Now I'm not sure, I mean this is all the same kind of uh, surface area. If we can really turn, let's say, the, the front section to something that is really, really sandy. I, I, I'm not sure what happens if you uh, cover the area. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on. So. What the? Turn off the anarchy off. Overlapping items. Okay. So I don't think that is possible. The only thing that is then possible is just slide this back and then create a sandy surface. Uh, I can try that. I can just take this and then take this note from here, bring it back to there. If it allows me to, I mean, it's like, oh, overlapping items, okay. So something, yeah, something like that. So the piece that is actually going into into the uh, the water section that should then be become like a piece that is like really sandy. That would be, you know, that would be a real beach kind of thing. So let's try that only on this part over here and then we dive back into this area white sand base and then we try it from he here I don't know what is going on create a new create a new incident no it is what the control set no 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 White sand, okay. You go there. We bring you over to there, 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 and then there. Uh, there, there, there. And this is also a little bit new for me. I don't know what happens once I fill this out let's say to there there and there and back and there and where was the starting point over there ooh look at that that definitely does not make me unhappy uh, with uh, with the results only we need to slide this into there not bad, not bad, and then here we slide this, oh, come on, okay, can, can you work with me for a moment, I want to make this work, come on, you go into the ocean there, stop monkeying around, oh yeah, oh yeah, Finally, that's a very uh, stark, um, uh, yeah, how shall I say it, that's a very stark um, boundary, so maybe we can put a little bit of simple bushes there, I mean the smallest of the smallest, uh, where are those bushes, over here, no, I cannot even find them, of course I have to go to the toilet right now, always the same, over here, under here, so these little bushes, how small can we get those, like this? I mean, is that reasonable to find these kind of bushes on the beach? Let's see, like that, that, and that, and that, and maybe in the next episode or so we can add some invisible paths and then add a lot more of those assets we also have. No, not that one. Let's see, also a, that's a big rock, well why not? 
Let me have a look here. Yeah, you know what? Rocks, you know? Imagine this would be like a kind of a breakwater kind of thing that just goes into the water like that. How does that look from a distance? Me enter another one there, another one there. Well, I think it's not bad. I think it's a, it's a lovely university island. Um, the question is like, okay, you know, I think maybe in the next episode, I would really, really want to start a bus route that could just goes from here to where it does, do they enter? On this road, right? This is the only road. No, that's not the road. How do they get there, by the way, these these guys? Uh, they get there from... Oh, this road. Oh, that's actually perfectly fine. I mean, they we can make a perfectly nice bus line that goes around here to there to there. They can make a U-turn. We can make this connecting up to there. Yeah, that would be fine. Yeah, definitely. So... Yeah. I think we'll leave it at that. I mean, uh, nice episode 18, not 19, like I said last time. I will try to figure out what to do with the lighting. Uh, I also, you know, because I was playing around with the lighting a little bit, but um, it's not always doing what you want to do. So, uh, but definitely this is something, you know, university in combination with some, some beach uh, property over here. Which is actually pretty nice, you know, with a nice background as well. Okay, guys and girls, thank you for watching. Leave your comments behind in the comment section below. Hit the uh, l thumbs up, uh, subscribe and bell icon over here if you like this. And if you have any questions more, then feel free to also ask them in the comments. And last thing quickly I want to address is like a, a comment that I got from one of my viewers. Uh, it was about a roundabout. Um, let's have a look, uh, which roundabout was it? I think it was this roundabout, yeah. So the guy told me basically like, why don't you apply two forks? You know, two forks from, I think from one end to the other end. Uh, yeah, that's sort of an idea to get people from this side to that side. Uh, is this leveled? Is this it is going up slightly. What are the people doing on the inside of this roundabout? That is like, that's like crazy. That's like totally crazy. So, let me build that. I'll be right back. Okay, I think he meant something like this. I think, uh, you know, uh, a connection uh, from one side to the other side. Uh, also, there might be a few pedestrian crossings active, so I am going to check whether there are. So re remove those if they are, because there are people on the inside of the roundabout, so clearly they get there somehow. So I'm going to remove any invisible crossings if there are. It's 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 yeah. It's difficult to say actually because yeah. We'll see. Let's see. No, no, cr yeah, no pedestrian crossing access. Access. Nah, that's fine. So, uh, yeah. So let's see. We can also put a few more buildings here and there. Ooh, not there. Yeah. And maybe even here and also here. Those just officers, which are fine, do not cause any issues. Again, a building here that is not connected, so it be it. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I think he used it. I, I mean, I, he meant that about creating two forks, you know, going over this highway. He also mentioned, by the way, the possibilities of creating a, a lot of people are using it. So actually, it's not a bad idea. Look at this. Yeah, I kind of love it. The people are using it instead of the roundabout. Yeah, he also mentioned the idea of creating a pedestrian path over the uh, entire stretch of the you know, over the middle section of this highway. And you know what? I don't think that's a bad idea. 
and then going from left to right with, uh, with overpasses and uh, etc whatnot and uh, because then people really can go from one end to the other end there are a few bridges here and there but you know it, it would be nice it would be just great to see you know it's just the whole idea is kind of interesting uh, and uh, yeah, I do already like the fact that I see many people walking over this this bridge, over this roundabout. I mean, they are not hampering the traffic anymore. Uh, not that there is a lot of traffic, but I mean, yeah. These guys are supposed to stop. They are not doing it. A bunch of idiots. Well, no problem. We are going to the priority tool. And we click this button. And we say like, yield to you. You see those signs? Yeah. Yeah. The same, yeah, they are applied here as well. Okay. Traffic on the roundabout has right of way. Okay, guys and girls. Uh, so, whoa, I will fix that off screen. Don't worry, uh, everything will be fine. Uh, I will see you back in episode 19. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you. Bye bye.